when we open the day centre and it will be as exciting and just how I wanted it to be. So I think it will be a way of saying thank you and I think it will be a day to remember. And it certainly will be for Rona Morley. She's thrilled to have the chance to meet the Duchess of Kent in person. I've never met royalty before, and I think it's a great pleasure and an honour to meet someone like that, so sweet and gentle. And uh, I think she's a very caring person. It's the biggest day of my life. Rona Morley, ending that report by Sarah Ransom. The Duchess of Kent will be in Alton this morning and in Lymington later on this afternoon. And I live in London all weekend, so I can use them and put them in the... Where should I put them? The city room. I must keep them less than the I'm going to put in water until you... Have you put in water? Have you put in water? Yes. But they're so lovely. Yes, I put them I'm Anne Hyman, Christmas Southampton. It's very nice to see you. It's lovely to be back here at this part of the world again. Mary Donaldson. Hello, how lovely to see you. It really is. And Dr. Hello, Hello. 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 needed in this part of the world and I would like to thank you and everybody else who has done so much to make this possible. I work a little with hospices, I belong to one or two myself and I do know the extraordinary feeling they give to people who come in here, the feeling of safety and the feeling of being deeply cared for and, and loved. And it is a great, they're a great haven, they're very happy. People often ask me what you feel when you leave a hospice, and I always say privileged and very humble, but never sad or very rarely. They are happy places, and the people who work here, who, as volunteers or nurses, whatever part they play, play it as much as they possibly can, they bring all of themselves into it. Whether it's being a, baking a cake and bringing it around one day, or some flowers one day, just little things, or or nursing here. It all makes the place go and produces the happy atmosphere which we need in a hospice. I remember not long ago uh, sitting with a patient and the, the caterer came up, the cook came up and said, you like the soup I gave you yesterday, would you like a little more today? I think that has summed it all up really, if the cook can find time to come and say to a patient, you enjoyed what I gave you yesterday, would, would you like me to bake you a little more today? That sums it all up, mm. it's, it's, it's a family unit, it's not a hospital, it's a home. And I, think, I feel this very strongly, and I'm sure I shall find this here today. Thank you very much for asking. Mm.
we dedicate this hospice to the glory of God and for the relief of human suffering. May all who stay and visit here be renewed in faith and hope and love. Give wisdom and skill to those who treat them. Patience and gentleness to those who nurse and care for them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may the love of the Father enfold us, the wisdom of the Son enlighten us, and the fire of the Spirit kindle us, and the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon this place, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs>